let's start with coding the binary search program now and let's write the basic stuff here and if you do not know about a bits uh, std c++ it's just the uh, header file that includes all of the other header files so i don't have to include individual uh, header files whenever i need them so that's one of the things that you can start doing also uh, one of the preferred thing that i like to do here is define int to be long long and the only thing that remains is uh, let's call uh, this signed so signed and int are same so signed means an signed integer which is the same as the normal default int so that's not gonna cause a problem because uh, main needs to re return a 32 bit signed int and long long is a 64 bit signed int so let's go ahead and uh, start with an int uh, uh, right now and uh, let's go for a binary search in an array so let's uh, create a uh, create an array and if you're unsure about using vectors i'd like you to uh, uh, go ahead and watch about vectors they are uh, basically similar like arrays and i'm gonna name this one an array as well so let's uh, make this an array of uh, of a random size so let's just take the array input from the user and ask the user to give the array so let's create an array of uh, this size and initialize it with zeros and let's just uh, see in this array and tell the user that is this array has to be sorted so we'll just uh, input a sorted array here and now we have to search for something inside so let's create a binary search function so let's create a binary search binary search function it's going to take a vector of int array uh, that is it is taking the array by reference and it's going to look for the uh, given value inside that array right and uh, let's say the x is the value that it needs to search for and let's give it now what is going to happen is uh, we'll create two pointers like we talked before the the low pointer and the high pointer so the low pointer is always going to be at uh, zero for now and the high pointer is going to be at array dot size minus one so that it's going to be at n minus 1 and now we need to start binary searching how do we start binary searching we need the third pointer that's known as mid and that's going to be at this position here uh, which is in the middle of both of these what you could also be doing is l plus h upon 2 but l plus h can sometimes uh, invalidate the boundaries and difference won't uh, um, usually he invalidated the boundaries so we'll go with difference so we got this mid and if array of so um while uh, these pointers do not meet so while l is less than or equal to h what we are doing is looking for the position where we have to find where we have to go where x is present now this uh, since this is a sorted array and we'll assume it is ascendingly sorted uh, so if array mid is equal to x then we are at the correct position let's just uh, return mid else if now the array mid position can actually be larger than x so let's create another variable known as answer and initialize it to minus one so if that is the case we know that we need to look for it in the uh, left portion of the array so h is actually equal to mid minus one and else uh, uh, l is equal to mid plus one because we need to look for it in the rest in the greater part of the array in the right of the array so uh, this is the basic code and let's just return answer here i think this makes sense and uh, this is the binary search code and it will return to us the index of the number so let's say int k c in k k 
k is the number that is to be found and let's just see out the binary search of uh, array and k just like that and uh, i think that should do um let's hope for no compilation problems uh, let's go ahead and compile this uh, it's called uh, uh, binary search yes and uh, it's compiled let's run it okay no problems while compilation and let's just enter an array here let's go for five let's go for a sorted array like one two uh, 19 uh, 76 and 109 uh, sounds like a good array and let's just look for the index of 19 it says 2 so 0 1 2 that's right now let's uh, do a different number in the same array 19 76 109 let's go for a number that does not exist let's go for 78 it says negative 1 which is also right and let's go for a different number uh, so um, let's go for a, a little bit larger array so let's go for 1 2 19 uh, 76 109 123 198 1008 how many numbers have happened already i think we are good done and uh, let's just look for uh, 198 and uh, let's hope the answer is 6 yes it is uh, everything's good everything's working fine and our binary search works congratulations on making it this far if you do not understand any portion of this or want me to reiterate let me know in the comments